Community Family Church and everyone listening via social media. It is so good to spend time with you again today. And for today's devotion, I'd like to talk to you about the awesomeness of the God that we serve. So very often when my husband and I drive in the car with our three children, we'll get into conversations about heaven and about how big God is. And our kids will ask us questions like, can God pick up this car with his pinky? And does God really, really know about every bird in the sky? And, you know, can he pick us up with his one hand? And I I think oftentimes that God looks down on these conversations and that he has a good chuckle because you're... I'm trying to understand or even comprehend with our human minds or thoughts how big God is. It's just, it's impossible. And um, I don't know about you, but I can't wait to ask him all of these questions when I see him in heaven one day. Um, the prophet Isaiah gives us some insight uh, when he speaks of God's awesomeness. If you've got your Bible with you, open it up um, to Isaiah chapter 40, verses 21 to 26. And I'm reading out of the New International Version. It says, Do you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood since the earth was founded? He sits enthroned above the circle of the earth and its people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a canopy and spreads them out like a tent to live in. He brings princes to naught and reduces the rulers of this world to nothing. No sooner are they planted, no sooner are they sown, no sooner do they take root in the ground than he blows them away and they wither and a whirlwind sweeps them away like shaft. To whom will you compare me? Or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls forth each of them by name. Because of his great power and mighty strength, not one of them is missing. And that was just reading that and and hearing God declare um, who he is, is so amazing. I made another discovery in Isaiah chapter 40, which it just completely blew me away when I, when I found this. Turn with me to Isaiah chapter 40, verse 12. He says, Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand? Or with the breadth of his hand, marked off the heavens. So let's just pause here for a minute. Let me make this scripture practical for you. God measures the breadth of the earth from his thumb to his pinky. So this entire part of his hand measures the universe. How incredible is that? Um... So today, I want you to take some time and look out of your office window, um, your bedroom window, a window uh, uh, out of your classroom window. I want you to just take a few minutes and, and look for God in his creation. And my prayer for you is that when you do, that you'll remember these scriptures and and. Think on the awesomeness of God. Meditate on the awesomeness of God. Whether it's for two minutes or five minutes or 15 minutes or half an hour. And as you do, as you meditate on the awesomeness of God, as you notice God in his creation, may your noticing of him be accompanied by renewed wonder and amazement of our God. The one who knows each of us by name and the one who loves us more than we will ever know. May you have 
an incredible day. And before I say goodbye, let me pray with you. Father God, thank you so much for this beautiful day. Lord, thank you, Father, that every sunrise and every sunset and the day itself in between those two magnificent daily events, God, just, just shouts your glory. It just shouts of your, of your awesomeness, Father. Thank you, Father, for breath in our lungs. Thank you for eyes to see your creation. Thank you for ears to hear the birds sing in nature and, and the insects, Lord. Father God, I pray that each of us, God, would just be filled with, with new awe and renewed amazement, God, as we see you in the sunrise and the sunset and the blue sky and in the rain and as we feel the wind against our skins, Father. Thank you, Father. We love you, Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Have a great day. Dear Father God, today I surrender my life to you. Thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for my sin and for raising him back to life so that I can spend eternity with you. I am now your child. You are now my Father and your Holy Spirit now lives in me. Today is the first day of the rest of my life. I love you. Amen. Thank you.